What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. It is Vlogmas Day 15. Hope you guys are having a great day uh, so far. And uh, today we're going to be doing the fitness tag. It's basically a Q&A. And so I'm going to run through these questions uh, that have been asked and I will relay the information to you. But before we get started with the Q&A, I just want to remind you guys to subscribe. We need to grow the family. So if you could help your boy out, just go ahead and do that for me. Without further ado, let's get it underway. Play the intro first. <laughs> We are back here and question number one is what is your favorite cheat meal? And I probably have to go with something non-generic, um, probably something from the Cheesecake Factory. I really, really love pasta um, and I love the Chipotle chicken pasta they have there. It's so good, but guys, it is considered a cheat meal. It's over 2,000 calories, well, close to 2,000 calories. That That's, that's considered a cheat meal in my book. Question number two, if you only had to choose deadlift, bench, or squats for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? I'm gonna go with deadlift. I freaking love deadlifting. Uh, it's my max lift right now. So, uh, I, I mean, I just enjoy it as well. So I, I enjoy it more than bench and I enjoy it more than squatting. And who really likes squatting anyway, so. Question number three, what do you do on your rest days? Well, there's a lot of things that I do on my rest days. Sometimes I uh, sit around and do nothing. Sometimes I uh, put on videos of people screaming. Sometimes I just watch movies and hang around and uh, not and don't really do much. Uh, Sundays are usually my rest day. What I like to do with my Sundays is I meal prep and I do other things like that. Um, and normally I'll make it an active rest day, so I'll try to go uh, play some basketball or you know just walk around, maybe go on a hike or something like that. Uh, and if it's not an active rest day, then I'm probably not doing much. Four, what sport would you have if gym life did not exist? Um, either basketball or soccer probably. I played both of those in high school. Question number five, do you train to be fit, lose weight, or because it is your lifestyle? Um, I'd say a little bit of all three, I guess. I, I love being fit. I love, because uh, most of my lifestyle is, is being fit. Uh, or requires being fit for what I like to do. Yeah, so I guess a little bit of two of those things. Uh, question number six. Do you still drink alcohol when training frequently? And my answer to this is yes, I still do drink alcohol, probably maybe like once a week, sometimes very rarely twice a week, and even more rarely than that, three times a week. Uh, it all depends on what's going on in the weekend. And a lot of times my friends love to go out and Whatever we may be doing, sometimes, you know, alcohol just gets involved. So, you know, that's that's a life. There have been periods, though, where I've gone several months um, without drinking. And I'm talking about post-21, not like prior to actually like not being able to drink. There's been times where I've gone months without drinking and I felt freaking fantastic. Um, and I just felt like uh, my progress in the gym just exceeded so much um, and so I would love to be able to get back to that at some point number seven how has the fitness lifestyle affected you Wow what a large question because there's so many places that I could go with this uh, fitness has just affected my lifestyle in so many ways that it's it's hard to like just convey it in like in just one video basically I used to be a little chubster uh, so my self-confidence was super low and um, I never used to talk to girls when all my friends were uh, hanging out with them talking. I would be part of the group, but never said a word and they didn't really say a word to me. Um, and it was just really, really awkward. My self-confidence was very low and uh, I just didn't feel good about myself uh, whenever I was walking around or doing whatever. And uh, I just, like all my friends looked better than me and it just, it, my self-confidence was very low. So since becoming fit and active, or I've, I said I've always been active, but I've never really been fit. It just, it really just changed my life, changed my opinion on myself. And I feel like other people look at me differently because I'm fit and people that I've known, when they knew me when I was chubby, 
uh, or fat, however you want to say it, they act differently towards me as well. So number eight, what in life makes you happy? Three things uh, come to mind right away is family and friends. I count that as one. I know technically that's two. Um, two is music. I absolutely love music. I listen to all kinds of music, but my favorite is acoustic music. I just find it so raw and empowering and just like, it just makes my heart warm. And so yeah, that's my that's my favorite type of music. The last thing is fitness, and that's why I'm I have this YouTube channel and that's why um, I spend most of my time in the gym or creating something for the gym or trying to make myself better with in terms of fitness and health. Number nine, do you prefer energy drinks, coffee, or pre-workout before training? Uh, before training, I prefer um, pre-workout, but I won't always take pre-workout. The only time I ever take pre-workout is if, yeah, I, if I'm exhausted, you know? So if I have the energy before I go to the gym to, um, to fuel myself through the workout, you know, I won't even worry about taking a pre-workout or an energy drink or anything like that. You just don't really need it. Number 10, which country would you like to live in if you could choose? So, growing up, I uh, lived in a lot of different countries. Um, so I've been all over the world. I've been in Europe, I've been in South America, I've been in Asia, um, I've been in Eurasia. Pretty much been there, done that. Uh, so I would, I honestly like living in the US of A. Um, I'm not sure if there's a specific place in the USA that I want to live right now. Uh, I haven't really figured that out yet. I've only been a couple places, which is weird because I'm American and I've been more places overseas than I have inside of the US. Uh, I feel like it's made me pretty cultured and pretty diverse, um, and I know it's out there in the world. So I, I have a good outlook. Uh, I have a good outlook and perspective of of life. So I feel like. Being in America is a good is a good place for me to be. Um, now that may change in the future, um, and uh, I certainly cannot live outside of the United States right now, being that I'm in the military. Um, but yeah, so that is the end of the Q and A. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed my answer. I'm going to nominate a few people in the description box because I don't have them at the top of my head right now, and we will see you for Vlogmas Day 16 or maybe even 17 depending on when this one came out. So, if you like the video, smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to your boy. And uh, have a good one.